Taste and see how good a God can be. Oh, taste and see how good a God can be. I will bless the Lord at all times. My mouth will proclaim. His praise, my soul make its boast in the Lord our God. Let the humble hear and be glad. Taste and see how good a God can be. Oh, taste and see. How good a God can be. My dear friends, a hearty welcome to each one of you for this holy Eucharist of love. Today we are going to pray for people who are suffering, people who are persecuted because they believe in Christ people who are not able to bear up with the sufferings which are in them. We ask our dear Lord to be with each one of us during these days and protect us from this deadly virus. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all and with your spirit. Let us call to mind all our sins and our failures. Let us ask the Lord's pardon and mercy for those times that we have sinned. I confess to, to Almighty God, God and to you, my brothers, my sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. And therefore I ask the Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers, my sisters, to, to pray, pray for, for me to Lord our God. God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who teach us that you abide in hearts that are just and true. Grant that we may be so fashioned by your grace as to become a dwelling pleasing to you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever, Amen. A reading from the letter of St. James, chapter 1, verses 12 to 18. Happy the man who stands firm when trial comes. He has proved himself and will win the prize of life, the crown that the Lord has promised to those who love him. Never, when you have been tempted, say, God sent the temptation. God cannot be tempted to do anything wrong, and He does not tempt anybody. Everyone who is tempted is attracted and seduced by his own wrong desire. Then the desire conceives and gives birth to sin. And when sin is fully grown, it too has a child, and the child is death. 
मेक नो मिस्टेक अबाउट दिस माय डियर ब्रदर्स इट इज ऑल दैट इज गुड एवरीथिंग दैट इज परफेक्ट व्हिच इज गिवन अस फ्रॉम अबव इट कम्स डाउन फ्रॉम द फादर ऑफ ऑल लाइट विथ हिम देर इज नो सच थिंग एज ऑल्टरेशन नो शेडो ऑफ अ चेंज by his own choice he made us his children by the message of the truth so that we should be a sort of first fruits of all that he has created the word of the lord thanks be to god a responsorial psalm your response happy the man whom you teach o lord happy the man whom you teach o lord happy the man whom you teach o lord whom you train by means of your law to him you give peace in evil days while the pit is being dug for the wicked your response happy the man whom you teach o lord the lord will not abandon his people nor forsake those who are his own for judgment shall again be just and all true hearts shall uphold it your response happy the man whom you teach o lord when i think i have lost my foothold your mercy lord holds me up when cares increase in my heart your consolation comes my soul your response Happy the man whom you teach O Lord Gospel acclamation Alleluia alleluia Open our heart O Lord to accept the words of your son Alleluia The Lord be with you and with your spirit A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Saint Mark Glory to you O Lord Chapter 8 verses 14 to 21 The disciples had forgotten to take any food and they had only one loaf with them in the boat Then Jesus gave them this warning Keep your eyes open be on your guard against the east of the pharisees and the east of herod and they said to one another it is because we have no bread and jesus knew it and he said to them why are you talking about having no bread do you not yet understand have you no perception are your minds closed have you eyes that do not see ears that do not hear or do you not remember when i broke the five loaves among the 5000 how many baskets full of scraps did you collect they answered 12 And when I broke the seven loaves for the 4000 how many baskets full of scraps did you collect And they answered seven Then he said to them Are you still without perception the gospel of the lord praise to you lord jesus christ dear brothers and sisters one thing that the disciples found difficult to understand jesus was about the sufferings Jesus constantly spoke about his sufferings death and resurrection 
the disciples probably were not ready for such sufferings in the ministry nor in the life of Jesus. Who for that matter will think about suffering in their own lives? Do we ever want any sufferings? But Jesus was preparing his disciples for this cup, the cup which he will drink and all who believe in him will have to drink. And that is the sufferings and to finally die, but not to remain there in the grave, but to rise again to new life. When Jesus tells his disciples in Mark chapter 8, verses 14 to 21, that he, they must be careful of the yeast of the Pharisees and of Herod. They will misguide you. They will take you away from me. They will try to show you hatred towards good things and godly things. Be careful. You may be doing wonderful things, but a small or a little bit of poison can destroy your life. And the Pharisees and Herod had that capacity to destroy. You know what happens when Jesus was a very little child, when Herod was seeking to take away his life. He took away life of so many innocent children. With a motive of killing God himself, already the motive of killing God was already there. And this is fulfilled by Pilate's washing of hands. My dear brothers and sisters, Jesus is preparing all of us for sufferings. Every Christian will have to undergo sufferings. And there is no Christianity apart from sufferings. Every Christian has to suffer for the sake of Christ. Even up to dying on the cross, but we have the privilege of being risen again by God. With this hope, the disciples are to proceed in life, not about eating and drinking, not to concentrate whether there is food to eat or not. God will take care of everything. But be careful of evil people destroying the goodness within you. Don't allow them to destroy the good that is within you. Don't allow them to destroy Jesus whom you trust and believe in your family, in your workplace. Don't allow them to destroy him. You who go from place to place carry Jesus in your heart. Your life speaks about Jesus. Your words have words of Jesus. Your thinking, your habits, your character is Jesus. And then people will persecute you because they see Jesus in you, a powerful God. They want to persecute you because they are sometimes satanic. They do not accept God. They want power, prestige, and they want fame and worldly glory. But if you want the glory in heaven, accept all the sufferings that God gives you accept with joy God will accompany us when we are ready to accept sufferings willingly yes my dear friends with these few words let us be prepared to accept Jesus 
in our sufferings and keep praying for those who are persecuted for the sake of Christ. Amen. my brothers, my sisters, that this sacrifice of ours may be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. May, may the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. May this oblation, O Lord, we pray, cleanse and renew us, and may it become for those who do your will the source of eternal reward through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift, lift them up, up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks to our Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in you we live and move and have our being. And while in this body we not only experience the daily effects of your care, but even now possess the pleasure of life eternal. For having received the first fruits of the Spirit, through whom you raised up Jesus from the dead, we hope for an everlasting share in the Paschal mystery. And so, with all the angels, we praise you, as in joyful celebration we acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is a chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of our faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the prayer of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, 
and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Derek, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, our spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coheres to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we all dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to the apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your Church. Graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other this loving sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold you who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Has the table spread where the sins of God are fed. He invites his chosen people come and die. With his mana he got feed and supplies at every need. Oh, it is sweet to stop with Jesus all the time. Come and die, the master's calling. Jesus' table all the time. He who fell the multitude, turned the water into wine. To the hungry call it now, come and die. Let us pray to Mary, our mother, for all the necessary graces, both material and spiritual. Thanking our dear mother for accompanying all of us in our life's journey. Let us pray and ask our dear mother to bless those who are sick, those who are in difficult times, those who do not have jobs, those who are struggling and suffering at home and in the hospitals, praying for those who are COVID positive. Dear Mother, we ask you to bless all our families with peace, joy, happiness.
Let us pray. Having fed upon these heavenly delights, we pray, O Lord, that we may always long for that food by which we truly live. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. My dear friends, may you have a wonderful day with your family and friends. Let's sing to our mother as we would sing to our love. Mother in heaven, yet mother with us on earth. Mary, we love you. Mary, we praise you. You are the joy of the earth. Angels revere you. Saints gather near you. Heaven rejoice at your birth. Sing to our mother as we would sing.